All right, this is gonna be a short tutorial on how to set up Cubase with the V-Fire, and uh, I guess more importantly, how to set up the uh, MV end of things with the PreSonus V-Fire. Uh, the V-Fire allows you to use the Arbus signal sent out of the MV option card, and uh, basically change that Arbus eight track digital format into a Firewire audio format. Now here's a few problems, just to let you know. For one, the Mac OS X has the ability to aggregate devices, which means you can combine the inputs of multiple ASIO audio cards and treat it like one driver. Unfortunately, we don't have the same option, so we're going to have to switch. The second problem is I had to go have a few beers after dealing with all these driver problems because my computer is just fucked. I guess it's nobody's fault but my own. Anyway, here's the way we do this. Uh, first off, since you're recording directly into your digital audio workstation, you're going to want to go to the sync settings. And uh, for this case, we're going to be using MIDI clock transferred through our bus. So when you sync, you don't need external MIDI cables for this particular application. And then we want to go to our mixer here, mixer button, and make sure that, uh, for instance, part one through eight, I have set to multi and you know when you have the Arbus connected it sends on Arbus so I have part two three on multi two and three respectively part one on multi four and then I have one of my audio tracks routed to the auxiliary input which is also where my MFX are at so it's going to record through MFX and then send it to multi one which would be track one on the V-Fire so in Cubase, you want to go to the transport menu, and let me just show you that. Transport, you go down to sync online. So we're offline right now. Go to sync setup. Make sure you're sending MIDI clock on PreSonus MIDI out. They, this is a weird thing. These are multiple ports. We have two labeled the same, and then we have a third labeled out in parentheses too. I, checked them both just in case. So since we're sending sync from MIDI clock from Cubase to the MV over the V-Fire everything should play back correctly. So I'm gonna go back here into the MV. I'm gonna close this window and I'm gonna press play in Cubase to see if it works correctly. So we should see the MV sequencer move right when I click Where's my mouse at? There it is. Play. And it is. Okay. Everything's working fine. Next thing to do in Cubase is to go to the Devices menu. You want to go down to Device Setup and select the VST Multitrack. And here you can select whatever sound cards you have hooked up. In this case, ACL Presonus. And yes, we want to switch to driver. And uh, you'll notice that according to the computer, it's a very low latency, you know? Uh, just under six and uh, for input and just under five for output. So that's good. We're gonna click okay. Let's give it a test. Now you want to create some audio tracks in Cubase. And uh, to get to the track functions here, you can select it. And here I have all the monos selected. I also created stereo buses, which are, you know, the stereo one would be mono one and two, stereo two would be mono three and four, and etc. So uh, you'll have to read the Cubase manual to set that up properly. Anyway, we've got that going. Let's give it a test. Now I have two bars of blank space just to give MIDI clock enough time to sync up. I'm not sure if that's necessary, but you know, it's not a big problem. So we're gonna go ahead and um, arm all these tracks. So I wanna hold the shift button. Pardon me while I do this, I only have two hands. And click the bottom track. Now all of our tracks are selected, they're on record, they're armed. So we're gonna go back and that's where you wanna look, sync. You want that internal. So we're gonna go ahead and click the record button on Cubase. Click. 
and you'll see it's playing back in time and you watch when the events happen at bar 3 they're happening right here in Cubase and they are recording in sync la di da okay we've recorded enough so in my case since PreSonus is only an input right now the vFire is where I get my audio from I'm gonna have to go back to the device menu scroll down to device setup and switch my driver to M Audio, which is my output. And uh, I do want to switch that. All these are extra inputs that aren't handled by the M Audio. I'm not sure why this keeps coming up, but it's okay. So we click OK. So we're going to go back. Period is the beginning. We press start. And let's see if it's all recorded into Cubase. Yeah, I just recorded some bullshit on the fly just to show you guys multiple tracks, including audio tracks, and I included the MFX uh, just so you could see that it is possible and it's very easy. Now, one thing I wanted to show you, I don't know if this is unique to my computer, but I'm going to turn the, uh, the click track on right now, and we're going to see that MIDI time code, since I have a 5 millisecond offset, uh, a 5 millisecond latency on the input for the V-Fire, and uh, let's see what it is for the output on M-Audio, 7, 7.8, okay, let's call it 8. We have a 13 millisecond latency total, so let's see if it lines up with the click track all right. Okay, I'm not sure if a YouTube video can show you fully what I'm talking about, but that sounds a lot more than 13 milliseconds. Uh, we're going to have to tack on another 7.8 because we're playing it back a third time. But um, you know what? I, I take that back. There's only one input and one output stage. I don't know. Maybe my Cubase is jacked. Let me make it simple. And this was quantized at 100% strength to um, 120. So if we solo this one, I purposefully played different claps to line up with the metronome. So let's hear it. Yeah, that's... That's not 13 milliseconds. That's more like 80 milliseconds. So if anybody has any ideas, please let me know. At any rate, I hope this helped you learn how to use the V-Fire. Um, and we're going to need a few of these after all this bullshit. So uh, keep doing your thing. If you have any questions, hit me up. You know where to find me.